Welcome to this video of EDI Connect from Mestera Software. In this video, we are going to learn about how to customize transaction sets, segments, composite elements, and elements and store them inside the EDI custom repository in EDI Connect. To create a new custom repository for EDI, you go to File, New, and click on EDI Custom Repository menu item. And what it does that, it creates an empty custom repository that contains all the standard definitions for transition sets, segments, composite elements, and elements. I'm calling it custom repository.edi. Click on Save. And I'm presented with the new custom repository that has all the standard definitions. Now, say if I want to customize one of the transition sets. Uh, say that transaction set is uh, 850 for X12, that is the purchase order. I select that transaction set and I see the details of it on the right hand side where this tree shows me the structure of uh, this transaction set where it is showing me all the segments inside it and the groups and the segments inside it and so on and so forth. On the right hand side, I will see the details of each of the segments that is selected inside this tree. So, for example, I want to see the details of tax inside 850. I click on that and I see the details of tax on the right hand side, where it has a name, description, comments, whether it is required or not, and if it is being used in the transaction or not, the maximum occurs, minimum occurs, and what is the underlying segment that is being used for this. Along the same lines, you can see the details of any of the standard segments and you can customize them. Same goes true for the composite elements and for the elements. So you can see any of the standard elements by selecting inside this list box and see the details on the right hand side. So overall you can see here we are showing all the different artifacts those come with the standard EDI definitions. And by the way, at the top, you can see here, we have selected the dialect and the version. So if you are working with whatever version of X12, we can pick that from this list. For this demo, let's go ahead and create a customized version of 850 transaction set from 4010 version of X12. For that, I'll go to the version combo box and select the version 4010. And I'll go to the transaction sets. Select my purchase order of 850. Now, whatever I'm seeing on the right hand side is the standard definition of 850. Let's see how we customize it. So, there are several options to customize it, and it depends on what are your requirements. For example, if you want to just add one new segment inside this transaction set, you can do a right click and say, hey, add a new segment. Or you can add a new group or you can delete any of the existing segments from the transaction set. Or you can pick any of the existing segments and modify their properties. Such as, uh, if I go to the segment, I can see here the min occurs is zero and max occurs is 20. For some reason, my partner requires me to change the max occurs from 20 to 25. I can do that and save it as a new customized version of 850. So that goes through with any of the properties here. You can make a change. As soon as you make that change and save it, a new version of 850 will be created. For this example, let's go ahead and add a new segment to 850. So I click on Add Segment and I'm presented with all the segments. Those are available for adding into transaction set. Let's go ahead and add the Request Validation segment inside this transaction set. I click on OK and I see that it is added at the bottom. But since it has to be within STNSE, let's move it up. And now I can see here it is within SE. And I have a new transaction set definition for 850 where there is an additional segment inside the transaction set. Let's go ahead and give it a name 850 underscore custom and click on save. Now you can see here in my list, along with the standard 850 purchase order, I have 850 underscore custom. 
So this is my new customized version of 850. So that's how you can customize any of these and they will be stored as a custom version. Now you can do much more than just adding and deleting uh, segments and modifying their properties. For example, the segment that we have added inside this transaction set, that is AAA, I don't want the standard version of AAA here. I want a customized version of the segment inside this transaction set. In that case, what I'll do is I'll go to the segments and customize the AAA here, whatever changes I want to make, maybe add a new validation here, or maybe make any of the changes in the properties of the elements here, or whatever change I want to make. And after that, I save AAA as new customized segment. After doing this, I see my AAA underscore custom is a new segment. I can go back to my transaction set, go back to my 850 custom, and I can replace my AAA standard by AAA custom. So as you can see here, you can go to any level. You can go to elements, you can go to composite elements, you can go to segments, customize them and use them inside the transaction sets. And so there is a clear hierarchy where elements are being used inside segments and segments are being used inside transaction sets. So this is how you customize the elements, composite elements, segments in transaction sets inside EDI Connect. Once you do this in your trade partner profile, you can use your customized definitions of transaction sets. Thanks for watching this video.